Welcome to Waterbury Career Academy, the home of the Spartans for tonight's edition of Waterbury High School Basketball on Sky TV tonight. It's a rare non-conference matchup, an early season matchup as Notre Dame Fairfield is in town, the defending Division I state champions to take on Coach O'Leary Spartans. Second game of the year for the Spartans. They dropped their first contest to Wolcott. Notre Dame comes in at two and one. This is their first road trip of the season should be a fun evening of basketball and we'll have it for you here from the Brass City coming up in just a couple of moments as the warmups are finishing up. All that's left is the starting lineups in our national anthem. Alongside Deb Theron, I'm Chris Grace bringing you tonight's game from start to finish from inside Waterbury Career Academy. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Waterbury Career Academy. Tonight's basketball matchup between the visiting Notre Dame Lancers and your Waterbury Career Academy Spartans. Prior to the game, we'd like to remind all spectators that the CIAC Notre Dame Fairfield, coached by Chris Watts. Fair play and sportsmanship. We ask that you show respect toward players, coaches, and officials. At this time, to honor America. This time, we will honor America with the playing of our national anthem. And then it's Notre Dame Fairfield and Waterbury Career Academy on Sky TV. And now time for tonight's starting lineups. First for the visiting Lancers out of Notre Dame Fairfield. Number one, Kate Holden. guard, number one, Cape Holden. Number 11, Blake Macklin. Blake Macklin. Number 21, Rodney Mato. Rodney Mater. Number 23, Max. Mitchell. Max Mitchell. And number 34, Philip Connor. And Philip Connor. Lancers coach by Chris and Watts. Two and one on the season. Waterbury Career Academy Spartan. Number 24, Raphael Prado. Raphael Prado. Start and wear number 24. Number one, John, John Edwards. John John Edwards. Khalil Simon, and the two most experienced players, Langston Ray Seed and Marquan Watson round out the lineup for Coach Ronan O'Leary's Waterbury Career Academy Spartans. Looking for their first win on the year. So again, it'll be Holden, Macklin, Netter, 
Mitchell and Connor for the Lancers. And Racine, Watson, Simon, Edwards, and Prado for the Spartans. Career Academy wearing white uniforms trimmed in black with gold numerals. And the Lancers wearing gold uniforms trimmed in navy with white numbers. Watson and Mitchell match up at the center circle. Watson controls the tip over to Edwards and Career will start with the ball. Looks like Notre Dame comes out in a man-to-man -man defense to start off. Langston Racine feeds Khalil Simon. Gets a ball screen from Prado and turns it over. Running the break, laying it up and in with the first bucket of the game is Philip Connor. Racine with a running left-hander that's too strong, gets his own miss, kick out, Edwards for three, short, and the rebound is there for Holden. Connor feeds the corner for three, and that's good for Blake Macklin. And Notre Dame out to a quick 5-0 start here on the road. Racine feeds Watson, now Edwards. Top of the key with Prado. Simon picks up his dribble and has to find Watson. Watson on the strong drive all the way to the basket, can't get it to go, rebound loose. Watson picks it up and lays it up and in. Watson with the steal and the finish and it's five to two, career with their first hoop. Spartans look like they're playing a one, two, two zone to start off tonight. With Edwards working on top with Simon and Racine, he gets a hand on it, but can't keep it in play. It'll be out of bounds to the Lancers with 6.32 to go in the first quarter. Connor handling the basketball, leaves for Holden. Picked up by Racine, now Blake Macklin for Mitchell. Feeds Holden, quickly picked up there by Simon into the corner. Ball fake from Etter, he tries one from just inside the line, it's no good and Prado secures the board. Edwards looking to push, feeds Simon, he'll try a three ball, nothing but the bottom of the net. Khalil Simon. Ties it up at five, two minutes into the action. Holden lost it, got it back, back for Connor. And now the Lancers will reset against this zone defense. Mitchell rises and fires, that one short and the rebound's there for Watson. Watson looking to push. Simon lost the handle and it's a turnover back over to the Lancers with 5.28 to go in the first quarter. Mitchell feeds the corner and Connor is double teamed. Back out for Mitchell, struggling to figure out this zone early. Extra pass, back up top for Mitchell. Looking to drive, kicks out to Holden, into the corner for three. That time it doesn't go, and Watson with yet another rebound. Outlet pass for Edwards. Edwards on the spin, and he's stripped and fouled on his way to the basket. So Watson doing his part on the glass, leads to a foul. Macklin called for his first, team's first. Spartans will inbound underneath for Watson. Marquand backs down his man, spins off the window and in. A big time mature move in the post from Marquand Watson. 
And the Spartans on a 7-0 run have their first lead. It's a two-point margin. This zone is giving the Lancers some trouble early on. Connor feeds the post. Turn around, too strong. Offensive rebound, no for Mitchell. Second try, spins around and out, and Watson secures the rebound. And snaps a pass to Simon. Back for Racine. Watson fires from the top of the key, too strong. Rebound to Holden, now he'll look to push. Holden accelerates, looking for Mitchell. It's deflected by Watson, over to Racine. Racine, a wild finish, does it go? And now, here come the Lancers. As the pace picks up, Holden for three, that's blocked by Watson, and Edwards has the rebound. Edwards splits two defenders, Edwards up for Watson! Oh my! Oh my goodness! He flies through the sky and Tomahawks at home. It's nine to five. And the building is alive. A 9-0 run for the Spartans. Edwards with the dish, Watson with the flush. And Connor trapped in the corner, feeds Mitchell. It's deflected. Mitchell on the baseline, stepped out of bounds. Spartan basketball. And you can hear the intensity in the building. Racine trapped, and he lost it, turned over. Deflected on the other way by Racine, last touch by Langston out of bounds to Notre Dame, and Watson looks a little fatigued, and he'll take a quick breather. And he'll be replaced by Darrell Combs, Coombs, excuse me. A long three ball doesn't go. Rebound there for Coombs. Racine. We go into the final three minutes of an action pack. First quarter, Racine swooping to the basket short. Out of bounds, last touch by Career. Lancers basketball with 2.51 to go in the first. And Notre Dame really struggling to get clean looks on this end. That's a nice possession. As Metter lays it up and in, and now again they will press full court. Edwards leaves his feet, finds Racine. Spartans have to get it across the timeline, they do. Simon rises, fires, short. Long rebound there for Connor. Connor keeps his head up, feeds the corner. For three, that's short. Rebound to Racine. Over to Edwards. Edwards, Euro step off the window and in. Spartan basket, John John Edwards. John John Edwards with the controlled finish, and it's a four point lead for Career Academy. Under two minutes to play. Holden into the corner for Mitchell. Feeds the post to Connor, he's triple teamed. And a reach in is gonna be called against the Spartans. With 1.37 to go, just the first team foul against. Daryl Combs called for the foul. Watson will check back in to replace Combs. Lancers have yet to go to their bench. It'll be their basketball underneath. Pulling up and denied by Watson. He's everywhere right now. Watson looking to push it. Watson glides. No, an offensive foul is going to be called. They'll get Watson for the charge, and it'll go back over to the Lancers first on Watson, second on the Spartans. 125 to go. An exciting first quarter. But this 1 2 2 zone is working wonders for the Spartans right now. They feed the corner. Connor with a nice ball fake. And he stepped out of bounds. 
No, they call a travel. Looked like he might have been tripped on his way to the baseline. Now they trap Racine in a bad area, gets it over to Edwards. Edwards feeds Simon, rises, fires, short. Edwards with the offensive rebound, swoops to the bucket, no, and the rebound's there for Connor. Three on one, Connor with the left, and he's blocked by Watson. Offensive rebound doesn't go on the layup. Watson with his third block of the first quarter. Simon swoops off the window, no, and his rebound is there for the Lancers. Mitchell in the other direction. Stripped by Prado and fouled with 37.8 seconds left. In the first quarter, third team foul against the Spartans first on Prado. Spartans foul number 24, Raphael Prado his first. Team's third. Checking in for Spartans number two, Zion Lott. Number 45, Justin Parker. And Parker, Lott. Checking in game four, Nordane number 42. And Jamie Parker, Brown. excuse me, and uh, Hunter come in. Long two is good for Holden. 30 seconds left. Spartans with the basketball and a two point lead. Council leaves for Racine as they're gonna try to hold for the last shot. They feed Watson with 20 seconds to work. Gets a screen, spins, hangs, and he's bumped with 16.1 to go. Just the second team foul against Notre Dame. Connor called for the foul, his first. Jaden Craddock into the game for Notre Dame. Try to lob it into Watson, it's turned over. Mitchell trapped down the baseline and he turns it over. Career has it with six seconds. Stripped with five and traveled. It is called on Lott with 3.6 seconds left. So enough time now for Notre Dame to tie or take the lead. Connor has it with three. Will he get a shot off? Just beats the buzzer and it's good. Count the basket. And we are all tied at 11 after one. So an exciting first quarter comes to an end. And we are all square 11 apiece. You're watching Waterbury High School Basketball on Sky TV. Welcome back inside Waterbury Career Academy along with Deb Thoreau, Chris Grace with you here on Sky TV. An exciting first quarter. First quarter of runs and the Lancers ended on a 4-0 run to tie the score at 11. Notre Dame will start the second quarter with possession of the basketball. Spartans will have Lott along with Council, Racine, Edwards, and Watson on the floor. Lancers with four of their five starters, just Craddock in off the bench. So after they clean up the wet floor, we're ready to go for the second quarter here at Waterbury Career Academy. Lancers with the ball moving from right to left on your screen. Spartans look to trap Mitchell. Deflected, but kept alive into the corner for three. That's short. Rebound there for Zion Lott. Feeds Racine. 
Into the corner for Edwards, looks to slash. He spins outside for three. Too strong, offensive rebound tipped around and eventually controlled by Craddock. Outlet pass to Mitchell and he throws it down. Strong finish for Mitchell. And the Lancers take a two point lead, 13 to 11. Watson feeds Edwards out to Racine. Edwards corner three is good. John John Edwards knocks one home from the corner. And the Spartans retake a one point lead. It's 14 to 13. Spartans staying with this one, two, two zone. A long three from the top of the arc. Too strong, offensive rebound for Mitchell. Mitchell will rise and fire from the corner. That's too strong and Watson secures yet another rebound. Racine. Feeds Watson. Watson fires from the top of the arc and he rattles it home. Marquand hits his first three ball and the lead is back to four for Career Academy. 17-13. The Lancer still really struggling to diagnose this zone. Connor drives baseline and throws it away. Prado in for counsel for Career Academy. Jaden Palmer comes out of the floor for the first time for Notre Dame. Racine splits the D and it's turned over, taken away by Holden. Holden skips one into the corner for Palmer. Palmer had it and lost it, got it back off the window, no. Rebound there for Racine. Watson. Crosses over, Watson, oh my goodness! More Quan Watson! Crosses over and somehow able to get to the bucket and he hammers it home, his second highlight reel dunk. It's a six point game, the feed inside for Craddock, he lays it up and in. Now Edwards tries to spin again, this time he's stripped. Mitchell has it. For Connor, Connor glides to the basket and it's in off the window. So back-to-back -back hoops for the Lancers. It's once again a two-point game. Edwards feeds Watson on the post. Double team skipped into the corner. Racine for three. It's good. Nice feed from Watson to. Realized he was being double teamed, gets it to the open man, and Racine knocks home the corner three. It's a five point lead. Now it looks like the Lancers are going to try something different against this zone. Corner three is good. A tough three for Holden. Knocks it home, and it's a two point game 22 20. Four minutes to play in the first half. Edwards off the window, too strong. Long rebound there for Connor. He's going to look to push. Connor fouled on his way to the bucket by Racine. He'll go to the line for two. His first team's fourth. Fourth team foul, first on Langston. Phil Connor will shoot two free throws, try to nod this one up for the visitors. First one is right down the middle, and now both teams will make some subs. EJ Trotman in for Notre Dame. Council and Carter back in for the Spartans. 
Second one too strong. Offensive rebound is there. The putback is good for Rodney Metter. And now they take a one point lead and the pressure leads to a steal. Metter off the window, no. Long rebound is there. Put back and see if Career gets a timeout. And after yelling, finally granted a timeout. Timeout Career with 3.28 to go. Notre Dame leads 25-22. Pressure causing the Spartans some problems when Notre Dame's able to score and set up their full court trap. Three twenty-eight to go in the first half. Career with the basketball, trailing by three. And again, they inbound a race scene, and now he splits the deep and stripped on the way to the bucket. Another turnover forced by Notre Dame, looking to go all the way to the basket. Short. Racine has the rebound. Short on the finger roll. Great job on the offensive glass, no. Third chance, no, they're letting him play underneath. And Metter comes away with it. Top of the key three for Metter is good. And again, they play the full court trap and another turnover. Six points is the lead for Notre Dame. Connor trying for three, it's short. Long rebound tracked down by Connor. And they'll reset with 2.35 to go. Good ball movement now as they set up Metter three, it's good. And just like that, it's a nine point lead and again they trap. Simon tied up. Last touch by Holden out of bounds. And Edwards and Watson will check back in for career. Biggest lead of the game for either team. It's nine for the visitors. Racine tripped up, no call. Watson comes away with it and he's fouled on his way to the basket. First foul on Palmer, third team foul. Watson with two free throws, not so the first. Checking the game for the Lancer, number 23, Max Mitchell. Mitchell comes back in, replacing Trotman. With 2.15 to go in the first half. Watson can't hit the second. Mitchell denied by Watson. And stepping on the baseline was Palmer. That's a turnover. Edwards pass hung up in the air long enough for Connor to steal. Pulls up from 15 and he knocks it home. Boy, this pressure is really giving the Spartans fits. Now Edwards. Nice feed inside for Prado, and he lays it up and in. So that time they break the press and get an easy layup. Lead is trimmed to eight, 33-25. Pass was too hot to handle, another turnover. 114 to go. Again, they apply full court pressure. Again, Spartans struggle to get it in. Racine looking for Watson, it's tipped and taken away. Three on one. 
And a foul from Edwards. And that'll send Palmer to the line for two free throws. Turnovers just killing the Spartans here in the first half. Palmer knocks home the first. Extends the lead to nine, which is the biggest of the game. 105 to go in the first half. Second one is too strong. Watson, you get another rebound with one minute to go in the first half. Watson for Simon, ball fake for three. That's off the side rim, no. Out of bounds, last touch by the Lancers. With 46.9 seconds left. Watson pulls up for an NBA three, rattles around and out. Rebound tipped, last touch by the Lancers. Prado did a good job getting in there. 41.6 seconds left in the first half. Watson looking to go baseline, a lot of contact. Let him play on, Watson on the deck and out of bounds last touch by Marquand with 35.8 seconds left. See if Notre Dame tries to hold for the final shot. Under 30 seconds to go, they'll go into the weave, and I imagine that's what we're gonna see. They feed Connor, corner three, too strong, offensive rebound, and a wide open layup for Metter with 17 seconds left. And then they force the steal and an offensive foul. Boy, Prado did a good job stepping in there. They call the charge with 13.7 seconds left. And that's a break for career. So career with the basketball trailing by 11. Into Racine, he's triple team. Gets it to Edwards with 10. Watson with six seconds left. Skips one to Simon. Ball fake. Another ball fake. Good if it goes, it's short and that's gonna be the end of the first half. So the Lancers dominate the second quarter, outscore the Spartans by 11. And that's the lead at halftime. It's 36-25. At the break, we'll try to track down some first half stats and have them for you when we get ready for the second half from Waterbury Career Academy. At the break, Notre Dame Fairfield leads Waterbury Career Academy 36 25. You're watching Waterbury High School Basketball on Sky TV. Welcome back inside Waterbury Career Academy alongside Deb Thoreau. Chris Grace with you here at the home of the Spartans at the break. Surge at the end of the second quarter has given the visitors from Notre Dame Fairfield an 11 point lead. It's 36 25 at the interval. Leading the way for Career Academy, Marquan Watson with 12 first half points. No other Spartan has scored more than one bucket in the first half for Notre Dame. Rodney Metter with 12 first half points, leading the Lancers. Neither team in any foul trouble to speak of. Big difference in the first half were the turnovers and the easy buckets that Notre Dame was able to get off of those turnovers. They were able to four spot, full court pressing the Spartans. Both teams back out onto the floor as we get ready to start the second half.
Lancers will send their starting five back out onto the floor. Holden, Macklin, Metter, Mitchell, and Connor. Career will do the same. Racine, Watson, Simon, Edwards, and Prado. Post touch for Watson. Turnaround hook shot. That's a tough shot. Does it go? One shot possession for Career. Lancers looking to push. Holden with the ball fake. Skips one up top for Connor. Extra pass. That one rattles home for Metter. He continues to lead the way. And again, they get into this full court pressure and it leads to a turnover. Boy, that's gotta be a foul. No, no foul. Just a turnover last touch by Simon. And just like we saw in the second quarter, Spartans can't deal with the pressure and a turnover force. Staying in the one, two, two zone on the defensive end. Holden. Feeds Connor, blocked by Watson. Loose ball, and it's saved right to Connor. Ball fake, finds Mitchell, looks to go baseline, and that's taken away. Simon deflected it to Prado. Racine looking to push, gets it inside to Watson. He's trapped. Edwards for three, too strong. Holden finds the loose ball. 38-25, that's deflected, and another turnover. Sloppy start to the second half for both teams. Racine glides to the basket off the window and in with the left. 38-27. Holden with a quick trigger for three and he gets the roll. Again, they inbound into the corner and get trapped. Watson able to come away with it, skips one over to Edwards. Wide open man in the corner is Simon. He'll try a three, that's short. And now a chance to break out for Notre Dame. Extra pass to Connor and it's a 16 point lead. Edwards, Simon, the ball fake, pulls up from 15, can't get the roll. Mitchell all the way to the bucket, too strong. The tip is up and in, and a full timeout taken by Career. The lead is blown out to 18 points. It's 45-27 with 5.33 to go in the third quarter. Back with more after this on your own for Waterbury High School Basketball, Sky TV. So after a tied first quarter, Lancers have outscored the Spartans by 18. It's 45-27 with 5.33 to go in the third. Kobe Hunter checks in for career. Notre Dame keeps forcing the Spartans into inbounding into the short corner. This time they try to work the middle of the floor with Hunter and they do a better job that time finding Edwards. Edwards all the way to the bucket, a wild scoop shot, he gets it to go. Edwards. 
Great body control from John John Edwards, and it's a 16-point game. Now the Spartans changing their defense. They go into a half-court trap. And Edwards tips it and nearly came away with a steal. So the Spartans going with a half-court zone trap. Mitchell in the corner and able to save it for Holden. Skips one to Connor. Mitchell for three. That's good. Yeah. 48-29. Long outlet pass and Mitchell reads it. Comes away with the steal. Another turnover. Connor from 16 feet short. Tip back out and Holden saves it in the corner. His pass is taken away by Watson. Three on one, Edwards up for Watson. Oh, and that time, Watson couldn't handle it. And it's another turnover. Mitchell steps into a three short, gets his own miss. Wide open three, a high arcing three doesn't go. Watson with the board. Looking for Prado and it's yet another turnover. Council in for Prado for career. Coombs in for Watson. Now dropping back into the one, two, two. Holden, corner three, it's good. Holden starting to find his stroke. And he has a quick release, comes away with the steal and he scores again. 53-29 and another timeout taken by Coach O'Leary. So Holden leading the way. Five points in under five seconds and it's a 53-29 lead. 3.36 to go in the third. So out of the timeout, Spartans will have the basketball. Trailing 53-29. Been outscored 42 to 18 since the first quarter. Edwards hesitates, feeds Racine for three and it's good. So they get Langston Racine, a clean look, his second three ball. He's got eight points, the lead is trimmed to 21. Looking to trap. Netter feeds Craddock, nice finish. Hunter. Gives to Watson. Watson looking for Great pass, Council and not on the same page, another turnover. Spartans again go 2-2-1 two, two, half court trap. And they skip it to the open man. Metter wasn't ready for it, three on two the other way. Ray seen a lot of contact and Langston will go to the line to shoot two. Lancers foul number three, Been Very few fouls called in this game, very few free throws as a result.
Racine rattles home the first. <laughs> Too strong on the second. Racine splits the pair. Connor quickly with the outlet pass. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Hunter. Mitchell comes back in for Craddock with 2.33 to go in the third. Into the corner, Connor for three. Can't get the roll. The long rebound's there for Edwards. Edwards pushing it. Leaves for Racine, rises, fires, that's short, off the shot clock, and that'll be a out of bounds back over to Notre Dame. Trotman will come in to give Holden a break. Spartans looking to force a turnover. Pressure dealt with. Swooping all the way to the basket is Connor for a two. 57 33. Going to the final two minutes of the third quarter. Hunter. Racine gets to Watson in the block, and he's going to be called for the charge. Connor's good defensive position. Marquand lowered his shoulder. Called for the offensive foul. Barnes foul number 22, Marquand Watson, his second, team's first. His second. Connor Trapp, though, steps through and Lancer's in no hurry with a 24 point lead in the basketball. Three ball blocked by Watson. What a play. Watson the other way lays it up and in. Watson with about his sixth or seventh block. Impressive athleticism shown by Marquand tonight. Fortunately for him, his team still trails by 22. One minute to play in the third. Forty seconds left. Tough shot, another block for Watson. Edwards up for Hunter. And Hunter finishes off the window. Back to back hoops for the Spartans. It's a 20 point game with 27 seconds to play. They continue to apply some pressure. Connor deals with it. Skips one over to Trotman and they'll slow it down and hold for one with 15 seconds left. Mitchell with 10. Back to Connor. Trotman in the corner with seven. It's deflected and taken away by Hunter. Three seconds left. And he tries to feed, and that's good if it goes, but it doesn't go for AC. So the Spartans finish strong, but still trail this one. 57 37 after three. Back with more from Career Academy after this. You're home for Waterbury High School basketball, Sky TV.
57-37 at the start of the fourth quarter. Notre Dame Fairfield on top of Waterbury Career Academy along with Deb Thoreau. Chris Grace with you on Sky TV, your home of Waterbury High School basketball. Lancers start the fourth with possession. This is Macklin handling the basketball. Hold it. Back with Mitchell. Good patience shown by the Lancers as they lead by 20. So often you see teams forcing shots with leads without a shot clock. I never understand it. Spartans looking to get a five call here. Holden had it, lost it, last touch by Racine with 7.22 to go. Without a shot clock, there's no incentive to shoot. And so rare that you see a team disciplined enough to hold the basketball, it's refreshing. So they lead by 20 with 7.15 to go. A lot of contact play on, says the official. Hold it, showing off his handle. Back for Mitchell. Mitchell drives it. That's a great possession by the visitors. They hold the basketball for a full minute. Connor a little shaken up. Hold the basketball for a full minute and then get a layup. Prado in for Council. Palmer replaces Connor. Hunter to Watson. Watson gets the screen from Hunter, steps into a three ball. It's good. Marquand's stroke looks to be vastly improved. They go into a full court press now. And Watson almost came away with the steal. Off the inbound, a wide open look from three doesn't go. But Metter is there with the offensive rebound. Holden will try one. Too strong, and Watson elevates for yet another rebound. Now he's going to look to push for Edwards. The blow by lays it up and in. And it's a 17 point game. Spartans would love to try to close this to about 10 with four minutes to go. Hold it. Leaves his feet and is able to get it to Mitchell. Hold in with a nice feed inside. Palmer couldn't get it to go, but he's fouled. Fifty-nine forty-two. Palmer will shoot two. Knocks home the first. Parker in to replace Edwards. Now they get back into the full court pressure. Hunter trapped. And Racine lost it out of bounds. And the pressure again leads to another turnover. It's been the single biggest difference in this game. Mitchell wide open will try one. Doesn't get the roll. Watson with another rebound. Watson crosses over, hangs, a lot of contact. Out of bounds, last touch by the Lancers. They have certainly let him play tonight on both sides of the floor. 61-42, 5.44 to go in the fourth. Inbound to Marquand. Skips one to Racine for three, it's good. Lead trim to 16. 
Lancers deal with the pressure. Metter lost it, taken away by Prado. Now Hunter. Back for Racine, this is a big one. Oh, it was all over the rim. Save though, good hustle play to get it to Prado. He's trapped and loses the basketball. Holden goes baseline, a nice floater. Boy, he's got a smooth game. That's a big sequence there. Spartans could have cut it to 13, instead the turnover in the other way, and now it's an 18 point game. Parker for Racine. Off the window, too strong, offensive rebound for Parker, and the putback is good, 63-47. Timeout taken. Oh, there's an injury timeout. There's an injured Lancer. And as they tend to the injured Lancer, we will step aside, be back with more after this. 63-47, Notre Dame on top of Career Academy here in Waterbury. Palmer, the injured Lancer. Back on his feet, that's a good sign. They'll sub him out. 4.30 to go in the fourth. Spartans trying to make a late run. Trail by 16. Apply some full court pressure. Connor back into the game for Notre Dame. Get it to Holden, that pass is deflected. Mitchell's able to keep it in the corner. He's trapped. Back out for Connor. Macklin picks up his dribble back for Mitchell. Now Connor. Holden thought about it, back to Mitchell for three from the top of the key, off the backboard, no. Now Watson. Watson on the push, feeds Racine wide open for three. Can't get it to go, gets his own miss. Hunter rises, a high arcing 3-0. No. Racine fighting for it and a jump ball is called. Possession error will favor Notre Dame. A much better last couple, uh, let's say, eight minutes of game time for career. Couple chances, cut it to 13, couldn't hit. 63-47. Easily deal with the trap, hold it, back out to Connor. Extra pass, Metter for three, too strong. Edwards tracks down the long rebound. Feeds Racine for three. Too strong, Hunter, a fall away, rattles around and out. Offensive rebound, the putback is good for Council. 2.58 to go, 63-49. Mitchell for Connor, glides to the bucket. That's an experienced player right 65-49 as Connor gets all the way to the basket to reestablish the 16 point lead. Spartans taking a lot of time here. Racine. The council now Hunter. Hunter. Boy. This possession taking a lot of time off the clock. All the way to the bucket and in. Council with his second straight hoop. It's a 14 point game. Just over two minutes to play. Holden had it and lost it. Out of bounds remains Lancer's ball. 
stays with the Lancers. Taken away by Hunter for Edwards. Edwards gets to go. It's a 12 point game. 65-53, one, two, two, full court press. And they get it to hold in for two. That was well executed. 67-53. Every time the Lancers have needed to make a play they have here tonight. Under a minute and a half to go, Watson sizes up. Connor feeds Racine, goes baseline. Hangs on the reverse. No, but the tip in is good. Watson with the tip in with 112 to go. Metter for Holden. Skips one and it's taken away by Racine. For Edwards, he's bumped and fouled with 59.6 seconds left. Heck of an effort by the Spartans here in the fourth, but Looks like they may be running out of time. His first, team second. Two timeouts left. You'd imagine if they score here, they'll take one. Racine brings it back out with 55 seconds left. And he's stripped, taken away, and that's going to just about do it. 45 seconds left. Mitchell. Doesn't look like Career's gonna foul. Looks like they're just gonna play this one out and for some reason, throw, throws up a three there, doesn't get it to go off, hits a rebound, Mitchell goes up with it. Watson with the block and that's gonna be a goal 10. 24.6 seconds left. Sixty-nine fifty-five, and the Lancers will back out of the press for the first time. And the final 20 seconds will elapse in this one. Racine for a corner three, and he gets it to go. And a timeout taken by Coach O'Leary with 13.2 to go, 69-58. So final 13.2 seconds. Great effort by Career here in the fourth quarter, but it's too big of a deficit in the, the end of the day to threaten the Lancers. They will pick up full court. Get it into Mitchell, he lost it out of bounds. And it's gonna be Spartan basketball. He was laying on the baseline. 10.9 seconds left. Into Watson, looking to hammer home another one. Foul, he'll go to the line for two. Well, it's going to be in a losing effort, but Watson had five or six incredible highlights in this one. Short on the free throw. It's 
Splits the pair, it's a 10 point game. Again, they'll pick up full court. And looking to go long. Gets it to Metter, lays it up and in, and that's gonna do it. Five seconds left, Racine. Good if it goes, and it does, and that'll do it. So final score, Notre Dame Fairfield 71, Waterbury Career Academy 61. Lancers improved to three and one on the season and the Spartans will fall to 0 and 2. That's going to do it for us here from Career Academy. For Deb Thrall, I'm Chris Grace. Thanks for watching Waterbury High School Basketball on your home for Brass City Hoops, Sky TV. Until next time, happy holidays. So long, everybody.